again. I am here today to explain to you the fertility cycle and the menstrual cycle. Um, basically, it can be broken up into three phases. Menstruation, which is when you're bleeding, pre-ovulation, and post-ovulation. And the pre-ovulation phase is called the proliferative phase, and that's because the uterine lining is growing, proliferating, and the post-ovulation is called the luteal phase, and that's because the corpus luteum, which I'll explain later, is producing the hormones that are maintaining that uterine lining. So I'm going to be doing some diagram with you to facilitate the visualization. Here's my blank sheet of paper, and I am just going to draw a line across the bottom so and this represents your cycle women's cycles vary from anywhere from 24 days to 35 days or more and um, on average it's 28 day cycle that's commonly what is used uh, in doctors offices and whatnot they assume a 28 day cycle so if you have something different um, and you notice that or you've been keeping track let them know because this does change um, some of the information that is available to you. So, the menstrual phase um, is the very beginning, day one. And on this diagram, we're going to exemplify a 28-day cycle because that's just easy and average. So this would be day 28. So day one is when previously your uterine lining was really thick. Here's your nice, thick, beautiful uterine lining. And it is all sloughing off. Just imagine it's going down, you're catching it in something, uh, a pad or a tampon or a rag or a cup or whatever it is that you use. You've menstruated, which means this whole thickness of your uterus is getting much, much thinner. And so your next cycle starts and the uh, menstruation may last anywhere from three to seven days on average. Um, you know, some women it's longer, some women it's shorter. Um, and you'll notice it changes colors too. And it's a pretty dramatic, you know, decreasing of your uterine lining. And as you are going through, uh, let's just say this is ovulation. So this would be pre-ovulation. Whoops. <laughs> and this would be post ovulation. Okay, so here would be ovulation. So what's happening in this half of your cycle is that your pituitary, which is a gland in your brain, is stimulating another gland in your brain to produce luteinizing hormone as well as um, follicle stimulating hormone. And the follicle stimulating hormone acts first on your ovaries. So if this is your uterus, it looks sort of like this. And you have these little horns coming off here and your ovaries, which are sort of attached by ligaments. And the follicle stimulating hormone acts on your ovaries to develop an egg and mature an egg. But really it develops and matures maybe eight to 15 possibly more eggs and um, one of them becomes dominant as it gets closer and closer to ovulation and as that's happening your estrogen levels are rising so let's use a different color um, we'll make estrogen purple so your estrogen levels start off in your cycle pretty low so they might be down here Here's the beginning of your cycle. So your estrogen levels are slowly starting to come up. And as your estrogen level rises, so does the thickness of your uterus. And um, it sort of does this, let's see. It sort of does this little peak here. And then another peak here. And then it drops off. So purple is estrogen. I'll put E for estrogen. Okay. So back to 
your uterine lining. So your uterine lining as your estrogen level rises is also getting thicker. You'll see this. It doesn't get as thick as this, but um, your uterine lining is getting thicker. And basically, whoops. Basically, what happens is um, the progesterone and the follicle stimulating hormone are developing, are, they're sort of synergistic, so they're doing different things, but the dominant follicle or the dominant egg matures and its follicle, uh, the, what is encasing the egg, so here's the egg, here's its follicle that's holding it, and the ovary is all around it. The follicle stimulating hormone um, is producing this, getting it larger and larger and larger, maturing and maturing, and then a surge of luteinizing hormone occurs, which tells this follicle that it's ready, once, once it's ready, to release this egg. So the egg is free now, and the follicle uh, remains active, and it, it continues to do something, which I'll explain in a minute. And the egg gets picked up by these beautiful fimbria fingers of the fallopian tube. So the egg is released from here and is picked up by these fallopian tubes. And it takes about three days or so for the egg to go, or from, yeah, for the egg to go from the ovary to the uterus. And it travels down that fallopian tube. So while this is occurring, your uterine lining is nice and thick and lush. You see? Nice, thick, lush uterus. And this egg has been released. Here's your beautiful egg. And um, there are several things that you'll notice during this time if you're paying attention. And at the end of this little video, I will mention the three things you can measure to determine when this egg has been released, when ovulation has occurred. But for now, I'm just gonna go through the basics. So, the follicle that released the egg is now like this, sort of a circle within the ovary. So that circle within the circle is the follicle and it begins to release progesterone. So we're gonna make another color. We'll make this one yellow. So progesterone begins to be released and it looks like this. would be progesterone and the progesterone is being released from this follicle very simple and this follicle begins to shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink until eventually um, it sort of weathers up and dies and that's great because once it does the progesterone stops being produced as well as the estrogen it's been going down for a little while. And then the uterine lining, which is nice and thick, also is released. But the progesterone, really its job is to keep this uterine lining very lush, very thick, just in case um, your egg became fertilized from between here and about here. It only has really a few days to be fertilized and actually um, be viable. So if it's fertilized, then the progesterone's job is to keep your uterine lining beautiful, nourishing, soft, warm, voluptuous. It's creating a little universe within your womb so that that egg can implant into your uterine lining and grow. But in this situation, it hasn't and you bleed again and all of these things start over that's the very basic um, menstrual cycle what is going on so with that in mind i wanted to let you know that there are three things you can measure to determine your ovulation when you're ovulating and in order to find those things out i want you to click on the next video and you can learn the three methods basal body temperature cervical position and the cervical fluid come back and check in